In this video, we will be creating our first app for our Django website. This app is called as Pulse app and it basically has two features or screens. The first one is where the users can take a look at the polls or also we can call them as quizzes. So the users can vote or submit answers to these polls. The second screen is an admin screen where the admins can create new polls or uh, you know quizzes and uh, they can update them or even delete them. So let's start creating this polls app in our Django project. So we're going to first open up the command prompt and activate the virtual environment. where we, are, we had installed Django. So we're going to activate that virtual environment and next we're going to navigate inside the project folder and open Visual Studio Code. So quick difference between the projects and apps. The folder structure that you currently see on the screen is called as the project. The complete thing is the project and now a project may have multiple apps currently this project does not have any app uh, we're going to write our first app right now so basically you can have multiple apps for example uh, you can have one app which acts like a blog and you can also have another app which acts like a quiz or a pulse app which may store user data in in the database so now what we are what, what we are going to do is we're going to create an app uh, called as the pulse app to our django project so we'll open up the command prompt and to create the app we have to type python space manage.py space start app space the name of your app which you want to create so the pulse is the name of our app if you wish to create a blog app you could maybe write something like uh, the name as blog <clears throat> so it's just a name for our app once the command has been executed so once the command has been executed you can see uh, a new folder has been created in our website called with the name of the app that we just gave in the command so let's write our uh, so we have created our first app so let's write our first view uh, so the view will simply display a hello world message on the screen whenever the user logs into our app or navigates to our app we'll simply display a message hello world okay to do that i will write our first view method so let's go to uh, views.py inside the pulse folder i'm going to import something called uh, http response from uh, django.http import HTTP response now first we want to create our first view method uh, called as index so what it's going to do is it will simply return a message it will return a HTTP response we will simply write hello from pulse index method okay and also we will enclose it in between uh, h2 tag so that it looks bigger on the screen so we have created our first method so once this is done what we need to do is we need to route the URL pattern to this method so to do this uh, just open up the urls.py file <coughs> inside this project directory and import views from the pulse app sorry yeah so we'll write import pulse sorry we have to write uh, from pulse import views so by doing this, we'll import all the methods that we have written in our Pulse apps views. So in URL pattern, uh, we just write the routing configuration. We'll add one more. So whenever the user navigates to Pulse URL, we are going to call the method 
which is the index method. So the method that we just wrote in the pulse app called, you know, uh, the index method, we're going to route that method to this URL, the pulse URL <coughs> and name equal to index. So that's it. So now let's start the server and navigate to the pulse URL uh, and see if we can uh, you know, uh, see the message that we entered in the index method. So to start the app or to run the server, we have to write python space manager.py space run server. Let's copy the URL and uh, paste it and navigate to the pulse page. So what we can see on the screen is the response that has been coming from our first pulse app or the pulse method. Inside views we have uh, defined a method called index and returning a simple hello world with h2 tag and the next thing what we did is we routed this method to a particular URL.